think the majority of us listening to this right now, our past is impacting and preventing our future. How do past hurts hold us as in singles back? How does it really impact our future? Um, it impacts it because I always say people who haven't healed are 99% likely to choose the wrong person, mm. all right? Because where we have to begin mm. is that the lack of healing, once we get hurt, we got hurt because we were in a vulnerable situation. We put our feelings out there. We let our heart out. And once we've been hurt, now we don't want to go through that again, mm. subconsciously or consciously. And so now what happens is we consciously or subconsciously choose people who are, quote unquote, good enough to be with, mm -hmm. but they don't really make us that vulnerable. Mm. They don't scare us. It's, it's, it's where we can maintain emotional control. So essentially, we're now making the safe picks. Mm -hmm. And the safe pick is almost always the wrong pick, all right? And so this now starts to cycle down the wrong path. We also become afraid to, again, put ourselves out there and apply ourselves where we, we find other aspects of life to hide behind. As I mentioned earlier, hiding behind God, hiding behind career. But in reality, we just don't want to put ourselves out there and be vulnerable again. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the lack of healing just really starts us down a path of making the wrong choices. And instead of fixing the issue, we're trying to throw band-aids on it and we're just making things worse. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here. And I'll see you there.